Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one. Still by myself. Yeah, kind of. He kind of didn't bring anything with him when he left. So he's still trying to figure stuff out. He will be back, though. He will be back. Just still going to take a little bit. But I need to progress and stuff. So I'm going to do a little more, little more stuff before he comes back. So let's do some more dungeon. It has been a while, so I have to figure out what we're doing. Um, I think we are just getting stuff. Oh, I was not doing that. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Really don't remember what we were doing here. I think we were still just going through school mode, and this shit takes a long time. Very long time. But, have to get through it. I do remember we were hanging out with Hero. Oh, I've never actually done a Hero voice. I don't know how it will sound. Hmm. Um, okay. Here we go. did he like? Um, what did he like? Hang on. Hey, Makoto. Are you fam familiar with Kamada? It's a tiny little suburb in Tokyo, right? Yeah, I've heard of it. What about it? Hmm. Well, don't tell anyone I told you this, but they appear there. Huh? What does? Uh, um... Umaze. Umaze are, I think... <laughs> Uma Thurman? Uh, that's... Hmm. That's a little far up my knowledge. I know that's a person. Um. Unidentified. Spaceships? I mean, spaceships? I'm right. Ah, uh, UFOs. Cryptids. Okay. You're talking about cryptids, right? Unidentified mysterious animals? You know? You got it. And it just so happens they've been appearing in little old Kamada. What? Kind of cryptids. How about that? The terrifying skyfish. In the West, they're usually just called rods. They can fly, and they have a thin body and a big wide fin. They can move their fins in a wave pattern, which lets them move faster than the naked eye can see. Could it be? You ever heard of the Anomalocaris? Some people think that's what the skyfish evolved from. And some others think they're an artificial life form, a genetically engineered military super weapon. Isn't that scary as hell? But... What would they be doing in Tokyo? And in K Kamada, no less. Uh, um... Nobody knows. 
but I think they're dangerous. You know how close Kamada is to Haneda Airport, right? I don't want to wait till it's too late. I've been thinking I should call the all the airlines. They need to know there's a way to get rid of those damn skyfish, and I know what it is. As long as I can pay my fee, I can keep things safe for them. That's what I'm gonna tell them. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I see a lot of jail time in your future if you do. Plus, isn't that like super occult? I just don't understand. That was a that was a session, huh? The skyfish. Hmm. Yep, that uh, that sounds like hero, all right. Okay. E fuck off, Manikuni. Heavy arms, Monokuma. Hmm. Alright, still need to make some more of these. What do I need? Silver spoon, whistle, electronic table, pen knife. Silver spoon, whistle, electronic table, pen knife. Silver spoon, whistle. God damn it, Leon. <sighs> I mean, seriously? Shut up, you fool. Yeah, I've made my decision. I don't like Leon. Leon kind of sucks. Hello, hero. You want to take a nap? Hero, that's your idea of hanging out? Take a nap together? Hmm? <laughs> no. well, I'm surprised how well you and me get along, Kodo. Seems like we hang out all the time these days. Is that a bad thing? Oh no, not at all. And since we're such good friends, can I ask you something? Wait, I totally realized something just now, completely out of nowhere. I feel like I'm about to see the performance of a lifetime. Well? Say Makoto, have you been feeling down in the dumps? No energy, no spark. Y you think so? You know? Oh, you don't have to hide it from me. I know what it's like. I've been there. And you know what I'd recommend? Hmm. This. What is it? A crystal ball. Okay. And... Just hold on to it for a second. Here, here. Completely against my will, Hero shoved the crystal ball into my hands. Well? What do you think? Nice and cool to the touch. Feels good, doesn't it? Actually, yeah. You can feel its power, can't you? Do I feel it? How about that? It's the ancient power of our timeless Mother Earth. 
see, the Crystal Ball has quite the history. It was found in the ruins of Atlantis. It is literally a priceless, one-of-a-kind artifact. This precious item grants enormous power to whoever holds it, bringing prosperity and peace of mind. You know, I remember this exact plotline in something else. It might have also been a Japanese game. Hmm. This very ball has known the touch of Napoleon, George Washington, even Genghis Khan. I think that's probably the single most unbelievably unbelievable thing I've ever heard. Hmm. Well, I'd like to give it to you as a present. In return, I'd like you to come with me a little seminar when we get out of here. And don't worry, I'll see about getting a discount on your entry fee, because that's what friends do. That's really nice of you and all, but I'm not sure I'm really interested. Sorry, the Crystal Ball has already acknowledged you as its proper owner. It wants to stay with you. It needs to stay with you. It has given itself to you. So now you gotta keep your promise. You don't want to know what that thing does to Oathbreakers. <laughs> okay, I'm counting on you, pal. Refusing to take back the Crystal Ball, Hero hurried away. And I could hear him mumbling to myself and caught something about finally made my quota. I really hope I heard him wrong. Men. Men, men, hero. You... You... Why the hell do you have a quota? Oh, holiday. Let's go. How many more times? So I feel like we've already hung out with him quite a bit. Four, okay. So maybe like two more. Okay. Yeah, this might be it for him. Let's see. Again with the nap. We're at the pool, hero. Why are we napping at the pool? <laughs> this is getting serious, man. When are we gonna get out of here? The world is so big, so freaking huge, and we've all been stuffed in this one tiny little corner. I guess even heroes are starting to get stressed out by all this. Uh, um... Can we talk? Man to man. I haven't told anyone else, but I need to get this off my chest. What is it? Hmm. There's a big reason why I'm so anxious to get out of here. A big reason? I'm super worried, man. I'm afraid someone's gonna burst into my house and steal my collection. What collection? How about that? I've been surfing black markets and back channels to build a huge collection of Uparts. No reaction? Wait, don't tell me you don't know about Uparts. You know, Uparts. Out of place artifacts? Stuff they find in the ruins of ancient civilizations, but with no explanation how it could have got there. The Crystal Skulls, the Golden Airplanes of Columbia, the Baghdad Battery, just to name a few. What the heck? But Uparts can be more than just artifacts. For example, I definitely classify the famous geoglyphs of South America as Uparts. Famous South American geoglyphs. Aztec? Could it be? How about that? Okay, uh... I... I've not heard of either one of these other things. The Nazca. Okay. Whoa! You got it, Ace. Why Ace? Yo. Plenty of museums and research centers claim to have all those different ooh parts, but you see... Well? Here's the shocking truth. For all of them, the real deal is at my house. Did I shock you? Did the truth slam into your soul like the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs? But... You have all that stuff at your house? Hmm. Yep. Got it mostly through the internet. It's more valuable to me than anything. He's gotta be the world's biggest sucker. <sighs> I've invested every penny I have into that collection, which is why I'm so worried. If that stuff gets stolen while I'm gone, it'd just be the most tragic tragedy. You know what I'd had to go through to get that stuff? 
What do you think I got held back like, you know, three or four years? Huh? <laughs> oh, uh, nothing. Forget about that last part. Okay. Anyway, everything I've read is that when you really do serious research on those artifacts, most times they end up finding out there's a perfectly normal explanation for them. Don't be stupid, you stupid Makoto. It's a government cover-up. They want to hide the ancient aliens and the secrets of the universe. So tell me again how much you hate the occult. This isn't the occult. It's about aliens and ancient civilizations living together. Yes, it's possible. I don't think there's anything I could say to change his mind. Oh, hero. You... You, you, man. You, you, man. Let's go again. Please let this be the last time. I can only take so much of you. You hurt my brain. Hmm. Again with the nap. Is this your damn weed brain? Hmm? Huh? Your weed brain makes you tired. I don't even know where you would get it here. I do have a garden, though. <laughs> Makoto, ready for me to tell your fortune? I told you, I'm done with that. Hmm. Come on, don't be like that. This one's on me. Free of charge, no money down. That just makes me even more suspicious. Yo. I'll be waiting for you in my room. Maybe as soon as you can. Alright, here we go. Okay, we got the, the table, we got some hand poster, makes sense, reading your palms. A uh, bunch of other stuff, some books. Yeah, yeah, this seems like a, like a, like a room hero would have. Yo, Makoto, welcome. Thanks. Hmm. Listen, before we get to the reading, I have a little favor to ask. I knew it. Forget it, I'm out of here. I was right to be skeptical. No, man, I'm for super serious this time. I'm, I mean, I really am serious. I want to talk to you about a problem I'm having. Problem? Actually, I listen to everyone else's problems all day, right? But who do I have to talk to? Friends? Nope. I mean, I literally have zero friends. Jeez, I figured he didn't have many friends, but none at all? You know? This is the first time I felt like there was someone I could talk to, could share my problems with. Hero. Okay. If you don't mind telling me, I don't mind listening. Hmm. Thanks. You know? So you remember I told you how I got held back a few times, right? Yeah, you mentioned that. For serious. Well, there's kind of a serious reason for that. There is? Hmm. Someone's after me. Someone's after you? Who? What did you do? D don't look at me. No, I what makes you think I did anything? I just got dragged into it. I had an appointment come in, the daughter of some rich upper management type guy. Maybe I pressured her a little to pull out her entire life savings. Well, when her dad found out, he went to ape poop, and it turned into a whole legal thing. And it turns out this Mr. Richie Rich guy just so happened to have ties to the mob. So then I had these super scary gangsters coming after me. And you tried to run? Hey, come on. Yeah, but they caught up to me, of course. They tried to force me to pay them, well, more than I could afford. So I snuck my way into Hope's Peak. Anson and I leave the school, they're gonna come for my guts. Black market organs are in huge demand. But I love my organs. I don't want to give them to someone else. So here's the deal. Sell me some of your organs for the cheap. I can resell them at market price. Please. Just one. One's all I need. Please. Okay, fine. Sell me your identity. Those are pretty valuable these days. What the heck? You're so selfish. Be honest. You used that money to buy those artifacts of yours, didn't you? How'd you know? I remember you mentioning how expensive that stuff was. What else could it be? Wait, you're not suggesting I sell my ooh parts, are you? Why not? That makes the most sense, doesn't it? You can't do bear to do it yourself, I'll help you. Don't be mean. No, 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 no freaking way! 
That collection is all I have in life. How could you even suggest such a terrible thing? You're a cruel man, Makoto Nagi. You can call it terrible, but... That's enough. Forget I ever asked. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get out of here. Even it means demolishing my life savings. Wait, you have life savings? So now you know. I figured if I sold your organs, I wouldn't have to dip into my retirement fund. What the hell is wrong with you? What? Okay, I've had it. If you're not gonna give me your organs or your identity, you can just get out. Hero angrily sent me away, and I was glad to go. In the end, I think I'm better off having talked to him about all this. Nothing else, I got to know him a lot better. I learned to never let my guard down around him. Could what we have be described as a kind of friendship? Huh. That's, um... That's the only time someone's angrily sent us out of their room. On a, on a max hangout session. That... Hmm. Oh, spirit bomb, nice. Huh. That... Huh. Hero. Hero, hero. You... You, you, you weird man. You weird, weird man. Whistle, silver spoon, like shiny table pen lights. So the same exact things. Alley. Got one silver spoon. <sighs> we got one. Okay, all right. So, hero is done. Yep, yep. So, next, we got three left. And we decided on Mukuro, right? I believe so. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do one. Now I did save her for like near the end, but we're we're still not hanging out with Mukuro, we're hanging out with Junko air quotations. So, I, I wonder just how exactly this will be nice to see. How much of Mukuro will shine, shine through. Oh my god! Wait, one of her favorites is a ration! Cause she's a soldier! More important. That's cool. Listen, I just want to make this clear right up front. Don't get the wrong idea about any of this, okay? What do you mean? Yeah. I mean, I hope you're not expecting anything from me. Yeah. Gotta keep my virtue safe, you know. Huh? Wait, you mean... No, I'm not expecting anything like that. Come on. I figured. You're not that kind of guy, right? Looking at you, I get a total Omega Male vibe. But still, they say even the tamest guy can turn into a wild animal, so I'd figured I'd say it anyway. A wild animal? Hmm. Don't ask me why, but I seem to attract guys like that. It's probably because she's, um, flashy. What the? They call me up super late at night, all like, hey, let's hang. Like, I don't know what that means. Let's hang. It sounds so simple. But why super late at night? Why does Junko seem annoyed at it? M Makoto? Are you stupid? You just meant hanging out. Uh? Huh? Did you just come to a decision or something? Oh, uh, no, for forget it. Are you for real? Anyway, so we all get together, but the whole group's full of dumbasses. 
Keeping creepos like that away is like a full-time job, you know? Yeah, it must be tough. I mean, you're a model and all, so you must be really popular. Wow, Makoto. You actually get it. You do get it, right? You totally get me. I do? Totally. Listen, maybe I can introduce you to some of my friends sometime. So, what's your type? You're super passive, right? So you need an aggressive girl. For real? Yeah, I think that'd be good for you. Someone who'll go after you and not give up. No, I don't really... Yeah. I'll find the perfect girl for you as soon as we get out of here. <laughs> I hope you're as excited as I am. Kiko seemed really excited as she walked away. I don't really get it, but I guess she likes hanging out with me? Huh. I mean, so far I would think Mukuro is doing a, a pretty good job at... Um... Playing the role of a uh, fashionista. That seemed pretty... Made, made sense to me. Oh, Sayaka? Okay. So we don't need Silver Spoon anymore. But all these things are at very taxing places. Anyway, I'm just gonna let everyone go. Some people are probably will die. And that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Yep, there they go. We got a pen light though. We got a pen light. So that's good. It would see Sorry, Kyoko. To be done. Sorry, Celeste. Actually no, I'm not sorry, Celeste. I still don't like you. Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll just, uh, go again. <laughs> oh, ain't this such a devilish trick? When he comes back, we'll have already gotten to Hifumi and Byakuya. The two he didn't want to do. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Alright, what else does she like? Kitchen hair clip? Them. Rose in vitro? Do we have that? I don't believe we have that. Ooh. We, uh... We don't have anything else that she likes. Ooh. I guess we'll get something that I think she would like. Because my, my guide right here is only the like best things, so I don't have the like just good things. What would be just a good thing to give her? Well, if this is Mukuro, could I give her a gun? Golden gun. For real? Let's fucking go. This is bad. God, I am seriously freaking bored. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die from being so bored. Bad, bad, I'm infected. Bad. I've got terminal boredom disease. Is it really that bad? Aww. I just hate being bored. Hate it. I never noticed how much I hate it, but once we got trapped in here, it finally hit me. That's pretty recent. Are you for real? I'd rather be living homeless on the street than stuck in here. Homeless? Totally. Yeah, you know, like the hobo life. I've done it before, you know. You have? Yeah. It's a long story. And now you're a model? Mm. Well, that's a long story, too. How many long stories do you have? But more important, 
Seriously, if I had to choose between staying here and being homeless again, give me the street. I guess I can understand that. I mean, you're probably more danger here than there. Oh, hell no. Homelessness is totally dangerous. You never know when a pack of wild animals might show up. Wild animals? What? Oh, I don't mean literally. I mean people who attack the weak. who want to hurt you. The world's full of animals like that, you know? But I think having to live like that made me way stronger. Hearing someone with actual experience talk like that really has a lot of weight to it. But more important. Sorry, that kind of got weird, huh? All I was trying to say is, when the hell are we going to get out of here? Hey. Whatever dumb bastard trapped us in here, you listening? When are you going to let us out? Just tell us what we got to do to get out of here. Hell, you can even just tell me. I know how to keep a secret. You do, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we know. What the hell is this? Nothing, huh? Pisses me off. Well, I mean, there's no way they'd make it that easy. But listen, you're not thinking of doing anything drastic, are you? Drastic? Oh, you mean the whole kill someone thing. <laughs> Don't worry, I could never kill someone. You fucking lie. You lie wholeheartedly. What, do I look like I would? Do I seriously look like a killer? No, that's not what I meant. Really, you don't. For real? Right? I don't, right? But anyway, are you saying you were worried about me? Gotta say, Makoto, that's kinda cute. You almost killed me with cuteness there. Huh? <laughs> Come on, I'm just screwing with you. You didn't take it serious, did you? But you know, there's something about you. I don't get sick of talking to you like I do most people. Let's hang out again sometime, okay? <laughs> There's something playful about the way Junko walked away. I still don't get her. Am I getting played somehow? Yeah, just not in the way you think. Her true self is kind of showing through there. Little tiny bit, but the tiny bit is very interesting. Let's do it! Mm, okay, Leon. Alright. Well, I think with that, we'll end it there. Finished Hero. Did some of Mikuru. Good progress. We're, f we're, f we're getting close to the end of, of this first run of school mode. And you know the good thing? Once we get to the end of this first run, I don't have to record the rest of them. All I gotta do is just record the endings, because the, the trips aren't, like, unique things. The endings are the unique things, so just gotta record those bits. Alright, well, I've been Player One, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.